how you enter dates into Excel is very important because dates are the one area where you cannot guarantee that what you type in, Excel is recognizing. So the quick solution is the safest way to enter a date is to include the month in words and the full year. So for example, I'm gonna put the first, do you see which is December 2021, when I click enter. So here it's actually quite useful. What I typed in, the format actually changed and that already tells me Excel probably recognized it as a date. I've got a test here, um, dates are actually numbers. So I've just said, is this a number? So even though it's formatted like that, it is a number, that's true. And I've just shown the long date and you'll see why just now. Just to show you why this is important, on my machine, if I capture it a different way, so I'm gonna type the full year, 2021 forward slash, I'm gonna do December forward slash 01. So you'll see on my computer that works fine. And even though I typed it in in that way, it converted it to this format, so that's a date. I'm now gonna do it another way. I'm gonna say 01 for the first 12th month, 2021. Notice it's not considered a number. And even though it's showing that, Excel is not seeing it. this as a date. Just to emphasize again why it's important to type the full four digits for the, the year. So we're gonna do it now, but now we're gonna go and we're gonna do 21, meaning 2021, December 01. So in this case, it got it right. But if I do it the other way around now, so I'm gonna go 01 for the first, 12, and I put in 21. When I click enter, notice that it's got it confused. It's actually seeing this as the 21st of December, 2001. So when you type in only two digits of the year, Excel has to guess and has to decide, is that in this case 21, the year or the day? So just be very careful. The safest way is to include the month name and preferably when you type it in, four digits for the year.